All right, boom. Man's got one watermelon there and some sodium and potassium in it. And we're going to inject them into the melon and see what I want, fam. So obviously first, we've got to liquefy the sodium and potassium metal in it. Now to do this, we just got to cover it in some mineral oil to stop it from reacting in it. And then after that, we just got to crush it together in that, man. Because obviously potassium and sodium atoms are different sizes. So this means that they don't bond together as well as the pure elements by themselves, innit? As a result, the metallic bonding between the atoms is weaker, so it's easier to separate them, which means that it's got a lower melting point in that, fam. That's why it's liquid, cuz. And then after that, man just got a little syringe and picked it up, innit? So obviously this alloy is called NAK, fam. NAC settings, you done know, man. And then I'm going to bore a hole into the melon to release the pressure when I inject the NAC. All right, cool, let's go. Oh my days, fam. The melon's bare farting in that, bro. It's a mad thing still. Bare fireworks and that, because you know what time it is, man. So obviously, watermelons have got bare water in that, man. That's why it's called a watermelon, you know what I'm saying? It's 92% water in it, so obviously...